how to quickly debug a Go CLI program, right? So let me just start from the beginning. I'm going to create a Go mod. I'm going to init it with some Cobra stuff, some Cobra code. And then I'm going to add uh, some sort of like command line thing. So, oh yeah, I want to add serve, yeah. So, so basically when I go run, go run dot serve, it'll say serve called. So say I want to do just this, but I want a debugger, okay? So this is where Visual Studio Code comes in, of course. <laughs> um, and let's see how we do this. So the command serves here. Oh, I don't know why there's a terminal here. We have a terminal. We have a terminal. Uh, let's get rid of this one. I'm just taking up to space. You just simply want to like break here. But how do you do that? So let's go start debugging. And it's probably not going to do what you think it wants. Okay, it wants you to open a launch config. Oh, whatever. Here we go. Launch config. Get rid of this debug console, which is blocking the screen. And the trick here is I find to remove this file name stuff and just put dot. And then last but not least is add the argument. So here you go like uh, serve. Now we can properly debug this thing. And I usually go uh, F5. And you can see it's got hit. Continue, F5 again, and serve called. Another cool thing about Visual Studio Code is that you can add log points, which I think are quite fun. You can go something like, uh, uh, here we are, and then in, brack in squiggly brackets you put the args, and then it will just um, it will just log those things. So you don't have to add li lines into the into the th into your code. You don't have to make any code changes. You can see, you know, here we are, string. Um, Okay, let's add some more arguments. Foo bar, what's wrong with that? Oh, got overzealous there. And let's launch it again. You can see that it's correctly logged foo bar there without making any code changes. Just uh, right click here on, on the gutter and, and creating a log point. That's how you log. That's how you debug Go CLI apps. Please like the video. Please comment below if I miss something. And uh, have fun coding and creating stuff. See ya.